Okay, so here's another set of hats for newborn photography props or for your little one. This one is called Leland after my nephew. It's chunky ribbed, as you can see. It has a puff ball. And I thought it'd be by the window so you could easily see better. Um, it has turquoise and um, light browns or warm brown and chocolate colors. So it's super for a boy. So it's for my nephew's uh, photo shoot that my sister is going to take him to. This one I have is a sprout top. I haven't given it a name yet. It's almost like granite, but not. This is a woolly one. I had them long just so that anyone would have the choice if they want to cut it or not. Usually when it's cut shorter, it sticks straight up. But my sprout tops are quite popular in the store. So, And this is spun by my favorite spinner. This is Frangelico. This is a stem top. You see how thick and bulky. Um, it's also 100% um, wool. And Christine Rachel has this on her uh, on her website, and it's also listed in my shop. She's taken a beautiful uh, picture. It has beiges and browns and very light purples. So. Um, and grays, so it's totally, I would say gender neutral, because you could always put a little bow at the top, or a bow on the side, or even a little flower, but, you know, good for a little boy as well. I also have the same wool, and it's actually starting to get limited, and this is in a sack hat, also in Frangelico, and this is an order that needs to go out to Canada, but, um, beautiful texture. You see the sprouts on the side for the sack hat. And next is, excuse me, saltwater taffy. This has been selling like crazy and this is starting to uh, go down to the wire as well. I only have so much of this wool left and once it's gone, it's gone. So super thick texture. Beautiful. And one more. And this is Destiny. Destiny. See the colors. It's total gender neutral. It has burgundies, dark blues. It has light sages, um, some warm browns. And actually, let me grab the hats. I know I took it the other, or other day, but... Let's get the, um, so you can see them better. This is also the same material, which is that made out of silk wool. This is the Jolly Rancher, which I showed. But since I'm by the light, I'm thinking you could get better, uh, better lighting. Very, very soft, texturous, stretchy. And... I do also have it, as you've seen before, in is the ocean's blue. So hopefully you get uh, you can see this better than you did the other day. And mind you, with these particular fibers, this has already these three have also been turned into cocoons. So while I still have it's this particular fiber is a little bit harder to find. I actually had to buy out a lot of people for it because of. Um, of its beautiful texture and like I said it's silk wool so it does have a luster to it I don't know if you can see but there have been a lot of beautiful images taken with these particular uh, fibers and then let's show this again because it was kind of dark and this was the oh, the stocking elf hat which is Nice, lumpy, bumpy, thick and thin, thicker tail. Let me see here. Thicker tail, longer tassel. Totally, uh, this is about a foot long, so you can have it draped down. And I do have them in a lighter, like, turquoise aqua color. 
and I do have it in some girl colors. It's just a matter of me knitting them up. And let's see. You know what? Huh? Let's go back. Um, see if I can get these hats in a better light. See the all of these hats? Here's that same hat I showed you from the other video. Wooly hat there. Beautiful for spring. Here's the uh, pretty jeweled one in that wonderful texture. See if you can see it here on its own. There you go. It's with the gold threading. Very lumpy, bumpy, textures. Here is, there, I think you can get, here's the chocolate, um, the Dutch chocolate uh, sprout top, nice thick, look at the ribbing, and the texture, the total thick and thin, and all the fun sprouts on that. And then Midori Sour. You've seen already, but I'm seeing if I can show this in a better light. And I have this one. I haven't given it a name, but it's. I did spin this particular yarn, and it's super soft and thick and thin. It's actually fun to spin when I have the time. <laughs> um, so those are my hats. Let me show you some of mediums that I work with. This is my living room. <laughs> my husband was kind enough to let me keep some of this here. I do have a whole room. I've spun this yarn. It's a, This was from Selena from Rocket Yarn at Etsy.com. This roving was from her. It's totally soft and um, Total caramel apple text or color. I spun that. Um, I have a lot more wool here. I've spun this one. This one was from Ethnicity Goddess. I actually spun this, and this was from her site, Ethnicity Goddess at Etsy.com. I spun this into a thick and thin uh, slub. And this color, I saved this here. I think it was called, oh, it's called Nostalgia. So, it's about six ounces. I have this one also from Ethnic. I don't remember the name of this color, but I still have it on a Nitty Naughty. I've spun this, and I just have not used it or even uh, turned it into a hank yet. And here's that beautiful jeweled. This is from Gutter Snipe Yarns at Etsy.com. This is actually a yarn that she had as a de-stash that she considered imperfect, but it did make a beautiful hat. Let's move on to here where I have more of my wool. See my basket full of uh, goodies there. So this is pretty much what I work with on a daily basis. I got some beautiful new wool today that came in. This is from Fabulosity. She did she did a skinlet sample for me, so I have I'm gonna go ahead and turn these into hats and see how much I can get out of it. They're like minis, but still it can be for a brim, it can be for the middle of a hat, but super nice slubs of yarn and yeah that's it that's uh that's my wool so talk to you later peace out